The last 50 years have truly been a remarkable era of global growth. 50 years ago, 1964, the all of global economy was roughly the size of China's economy today at purchasing power. And now we are six times larger. And this has come about by equal measure because of expanding labor pool, we have more people who are working, and rising productivity of each one of those workers. For the last 50 years, we've grown the global economy at 3.6%, both through a combination of productivity improvements, but at the same time we've had a phenomenal demographic tailwind. We've grown the number of people in the working population, and that's helped us grow at this phenomenally high 3.6%. The ageing of the global population means that demographics tailwind is coming to an end and we're going to effectively have flat demographics. So unless we make a step change in productivity, we're going to be facing a much slower global growth rate. By 2050, we expect that the number of workers in the global economy is going to peak. In the developed economies, we have seen many countries already hit the peak number of employees. Germany, Italy, Japan being one of the examples. Many other countries will follow soon after. China and South Korea actually, one of the real growth engines of the global economy in the last 50 years. They will both hit a peak employment, we estimate roughly in the 2024, 2025 timeframe. So what it means that we are seeing this demographic growth slow down dramatically is that if we assume that productivity engine is going to continue to run at the speed it has run in the past 50 years, we would see global GDP growth decline by 40%. So instead of the global economy expanding at 3.6% a year, we would see it drop to just over 2% a year.